Hi. Okay, so Michael thinks that he that he's found the proof that will um, show that God exists in seven easy steps, and I'm just going to deconstruct that proof. He says, if God doesn't exist, then his existence is logically impossible. We're going to pretend that those two conditions are not already equivalent. Pretend that if God doesn't exist is not the same as his existence is impossible. Okay, if God exists, then his existence is necessary. Again, we'll pretend a definition of an existing God is not already the material equivalent to saying God exists. Either God is logically impossible or he is necessary. If God's existence is logically impossible, then the concept of God is self-contradictory. This is not the case of a concept contradicting itself. I just want to point this out. This is the case of two definitions of God which contradict. One is the definition of God being omnipotent and omnipresent, and the other is of an imaginary being who doesn't exist. God is not self-contradictory because it's impossible to conceptualize the self-contradictory. Here's where the bottom really falls out of this proof. The crux of the argument resides in the statement that we cannot have self-contradictory concepts. But we can have self-contradictory concepts. Here's an example. God, the all-knowing, all-powerful being, knows and can do everything. Yet he cannot create a riddle that he could not answer. Because if he couldn't answer it, then he wouldn't be all-knowing. And if he couldn't create it, he wouldn't be all-powerful. There is your self-contradictory concept. Humans do have a concept of God. It is not impossible to conceptualize the self-contradictory. This means it is entirely possible that the existence of God is impossible. Ah, but then you retort, it is possible for God to create a riddle that he cannot solve. We mere mortals just cannot conceptualize it. Humans can't have a concept of God. And the proof, if this is the case, the proof being true resides on the definition of God as something for which we cannot have a concept. If we accept that there are concepts which logically exist but which we cannot conceive, then the most we can conclude is that we don't have a concept of God. God exists because we cannot have a concept of God. If you're the kind of person who can be talked into um, believing or not believing in God um, through logical means, then you're not going to hang on to your theistic worldview for very long. And uh, yeah, have a good time. Bye.